All right. This is my 1999 Ford F-350 7.3 diesel with my Lance 1020 or 1030 camper on the back. Um, I've driven this rig all over the country. And I've done a lot of things to it while I've had it, taken really good care of it. Synthetic oil changes every 3,000 miles. Redid the manual transmission fluid with Royal Purple when I first bought it. Um, rear diff fluid, I've rebuilt the turbo. Brand new batteries, new alternator, uh, new fuel pump, new power steering pump. Replace, or, uh, yeah, I rebuilt the turbo. These batteries are literally brand new, it starts right up. Every time, runs great. I've driven it all over the country. A lot of the sensors have been replaced. I just did the uh, uh, oil sending switch and the coolant temperature switch, so all the sensors work great. Vacuum pump for the air conditioning has been replaced. got a slight lift with all-terrain tires on it a nice custom bumper with a hitch mount on it where you can mount a rack I used to carry my dirt bike on the front of it so it can hold a lot of weight it's rated really well it's been welded to the bumper which is bolted to the frame so it's very strong I installed airbags on the rear because it was sagging and that helps control the, the unit so it's got the suspension airbags on it It's got a hitch extender, so you can also put a rack, or I've towed a vehicle behind, had a geo tracker that I towed behind it. Um, it's, you know, you can also put a dual hitch adapter, have a rack, have mountain bikes, or whatever you want on that. Just replaced all four electric jacks, $1,500. Um, we got the Bluetooth remote with it. It used to be a wired remote. Now you can just stand anywhere wirelessly and uh, put the legs down, be outside, be looking at it, and adjust as needed. I've installed wood floors inside. Second, I'm gonna grab the keys to get inside. The interior of the truck, the leather is a little messed up in here. It never bothered me. It's an off-road rig, but you can get seat covers. You know, it's got the super cab. I'm gonna go and turn it off, but as you can see, no check engine light. All the gauges are working. The temperature works, I just started it, so it's, it's nice and cold. Um, 261,000 miles, taken really good care of. Manual transmission. Shifts great, and they last a long time. The inside of the unit has wood floors in it. Nice trim. Used to be an old yellow tile. The inside of here had the upgraded interior package, so it's got the nice blue coloration. Then I've got Brand new mattress. We had a mattress cover on it, so it doesn't have any, any stains or anything. We put the mattress cover on it when we bought it. And then new faucet, because it was leaking. Uh, it's got a new microwave from the owner that I bought it from. And then he also upgraded the toilet in here to a newer model. And then all the lights, including the fluorescence up top, have been switched to LED. So I took out the, I forget what it's called, for the, for the fluorescence, like the transformer or something. And I put these LED tubes in there. Um, well, I'm not gonna take it off, but those are LED, and all the all the lights down here are LED, so they're efficient um, power wise. Here's the solar controller I installed. You can see right now it's pulling in 2.8 amps. Uh, the battery's nice and charged. Upgraded battery in there. It was over $300 for the battery, um, and I got that last year. Then I also hard plumbed another copper propane line in here. Um, outside so it's up to spec it's got a valve there and a cap on it and you can take this cap off and i have a soft hose that runs through a catalytic uh, heater which is way more efficient on propane and doesn't use electricity and then i mount it right there on the wall on this cabinet so the heat comes from here this way and then you can open the cabinet and have the heater uh, blowing at the bed when you sleep at night so it's nice it doesn't have a blower but it it naturally just you know the heat um, moves through the air that's a good to take the edge off and then you can 
use the furnace with the unit and then it'll kick on and supplement that heat but it's way more efficient it doesn't use electricity nearly as much as the stock one and it's way more efficient on propane so you can boondock longer i boondocked out in the winter you know in colorado and that kept me warm uh new fantastic fan uh, something fell in there broke the blades of the old one so it's a brand new fan um and then i'll show you in here in the cabinet under the sink is a nice Samlex 600 watt two sine wave inverter. It's hooked to the battery, and um, so you can you can charge all your electronics, and it's really good for it's not, it's it creates exactly what AC from your house creates. So it's a really nice inverter. Um, we run an extension cord here, and there's a hole down here in the cabinet where we had an extension cord come out, and then we just mounted it right there. But you know you can do that however, and then you can have power throughout the unit when you're boondocking. Um, so I'm gonna hop on the roof and show you the solar real quick and then if you have any other questions you can give me a call let me know what you're thinking about it so again there's that new fantastic fan we resealed everything when we bought it the roof and um all the windows and sides it's been good it's nice and dry no leaks anywhere and then i've got 300 watt Renergy solar panels up here that I've been using for two years now work great And keep it so I can boondock for months and just have to go dump my tanks and fill them up So that's the rig if you have any other questions feel free to give me a call